name is Mahdi and I run Junkyard Studio. And in my studio, I take broken items and old stuff and, and stuff that people throw out and turn it into stuff that's usable again. Lamps, interior design, furniture, pieces of art, and uh, office and restaurant design. Right now, I'm working on uh, Apache, which is a new co-working space in Sunnes for Innovation Dock, where I'm making a lot of stuff from different old items, including quite a bit of old bicycle parts, rims and, and tires and pedals and, and tire bicycles as well. Uh, these will be put into a co-working space uh, and used as a little meeting room, like a tiny little phone room or two meeting uh, situation. So there will be a table here and, and people can pop in and have a private second. My, my favorite material to work with is metal, like uh, water heaters, jerry cans, fire extinguishers, which I've made lamps from in the past, and also clocks. I also use uh, seat belts, which I make uh, carpets from, pillows, and also couches. Washing machines, for instance. They have a beautiful drum inside, which can be used for a lot of different things. Uh, it can be, be made into a, a lamp, for instance, which casts most epic shades around in the room. Uh, or it can be like a bonfire for your outdoors. It can also be turned into a little table if it's one of those that you open from the top. Where I mostly get my material is from first figuring out what it is I'm going to be making then contacting private businesses mostly, uh, directly. Businesses that I know would have the specific item. So a lot of the stuff I make, you, you would need an entire studio with a lot of tools uh, to create. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff you can, can make uh, in your own kitchen or garage. Uh, the internet is just flushed with uh, videos and articles showing you how you can, can reuse your stuff. And also having a conscious relationship and awareness to the stuff we buy. So the reason I do what I do is because I think um, there are so many, so much stuff that, that just goes to waste that absolutely have a chance of getting its life extended. Reduce, reuse, recycle, that's a good thing to keep in mind. Uh, so, do you actually need to buy this? If you have bought it, can you reuse it? If you're, if you're tired of it, do you want to paint it? Do you want to turn it into something else? Do you want to give it to your neighbor? And uh, just to be more aware of this whole buying, tossing thing that has become very, very normal here. Uh, I think upcycling and, and learning how to upcycle should be a part of the educational system so we can really learn to take care of this planet from, from early age. We need to reduce our consumption and when we do consume it's important to educate ourselves and figure out what we're actually supporting when we're buying a specific item. And also, can it be upcycled? Can it be recycled? Is it only made of stuff that cannot even be reused? then maybe it shouldn't even be on the market at this point. Because we need to get the level of junk dramatically down on this planet, that's for sure.